Good morning, everyone. Morning. So we're here at Surfside, and it's day two. We're headed off to the Florida Mall because it's quite early. It's about 10 a.m., and we think we've got plenty of time before we need to rush back to get into Stain Screen for Halloween Horror Nights this evening. Be our first time at HHN. We're well excited. Can't wait. Hoping to pick up some good deals at the Florida Mall. There's obviously the new Primark open, so that would be something to go and see. And I am looking for wedding dresses. Not for myself. I'm already married, aren't I, Dad? Yes. Yes, you are. Yes. I'll marry you the next time. <laughs> so whenever is it? Uh, no, we're going to a wedding in October and I'd like to get a nice dress for that. So I will be keeping an eye out out here for something nice. So let's go. Oh, yes. I like to take this route around the pool, don't you? Yeah, kind of stinks though. Sure. <laughs> I smell, a little bit rural. I smell weed. Oh yeah, that's what I smell actually, yeah. Oh, I like the crows too. It's like our yeah. soundtrack, isn't it? <laughs> Oh gosh, right, we're gonna hop into an Uber or Lyft. Um, we haven't been comparing prices, we've just been doing it, haven't we? Yeah. But there isn't much in it anyway. Sometimes Uber might be cheaper than Lyft or Lyft might be cheaper than Uber, so um, we used to check, but can't be bothered this time. We'll let you know how much it costs though. driver who was really nice wasn't he? Yeah. Good old Renee and um, so the first thing we spotted is the new Primark and we're gonna head in there first to see what kind of things they have to compare really to the UK well to Spain yeah. <laughs> we can't compare it to the UK so already I've seen this t-shirt which I like I don't know if Scott will like it I like the colors yeah, that's quite cool. I like that so I really like these necklaces because I've just got the bag haven't I so that would be cool to have but you get the initial of your name but they're oh look we're looking at, i'm looking at the wrong bit um there's no y's so meh we're going upstairs to disney's primark it seems really quiet around here didn't it i thought it'd be so much busier around but maybe they're all upstairs so we'll find out those shoes are quite fancy i wonder if they might have a small size there's a five that looks big that looks big for a five doesn't it yeah so they're twenty dollars. It really isn't bad, is it? Ah, oh, Mickey looks so cool up there, all glittery and sequiny. I've just bought a bag. I don't need another bag. <laughs> I don't need another bag, do I? That's really cool. It's though. really cool. I didn't see that one in Spain. All right, we're diving into Hot Topic. So yes, it's just trying on a few things. I like the design. Actually. The design's really cool. I'm currently trying on this one. It's very fishtail. Um, I think it's a keeper. It's a little bit big, but it's not falling off me, so I think my, my lovely hips are keeping it up. <laughs> I think that's a keeper. Yeah, I like it. So I did buy those two skirts, and I'm just going past Lush, and they've got Beetlejuice lovely section, and we're really liking the shrunken hair here. It's really cool. We're currently in box lunch and this is just off the scale. It's a lounge fly. How cool! It's the mayor's car from Nightmare Before Christmas. Let's have a look how much we're looking at here. Oh, oh it must light up. Maybe they, they light up. Okay, uh, that's not too bad. $67. I've seen more expensive light. I'm reading and talking. Um, I've seen more expensive lounge flies. We have bypassed Bath and Body Works just because we're hungry. <laughs> And we're gonna go to the outlets and I feel like up we'll do back body walks towards the end of the holiday. Because yeah. I'm not desperate for candles or smelly. But I probably will buy some. So we'll see how much I buy through the rest of the holiday. Yeah, then cool. I can weigh up like what weight we've got left. Yeah, plus we might be back here as well. Like yeah, I think so. Scott's got his eye on quite a few things actually, so. Alright, heading over to the dining pavilion. Oh, both of us has tripped up today, like two or three times. I nearly went on my arse just then. Yeah, someone has built something and we didn't know. And these sketches, when the yeah. floor's wet, they're yeah. deadly. <laughs> All right, here's the dining pavilion. Pavilion. Okay. What are we going to eat? It's 
Barrow it is, we're gonna share a stromboli, which is one of these. I think we usually go for pepperoni, but sausage, pepperoni, and bacon sounds good too. Uh, maybe we'll get a little side to go with it. So we actually went for the pepperoni stromboli. We have had this many times before, but we couldn't have anything else. Also, we're gonna try a garlic breadstick. The stromboli comes with a, like a tomato sauce, and Scott got a Budweiser. All together it came to, what, $23? Yeah. I think it was $23. Not as good as I remember. No? Yeah. Oh. See what you think, then. It's got a great for me. It's not as good to remember, is it? Not really. I'm not sure why. No, we're not sure why. Um, but it's still good. It is still good. Hey everyone, we're back in the room. So we got our Uber back, which was more expensive than going by nearly double. So the more demand there is for an Uber, the higher the price is. So I guess that's why it cost us $18 to get back, which is quite a lot. Um, but we're going to show you some of the things we bought. So I got this from Hot Topic, which is a fishtail skirt. And that cost... Oh, so I also got it with this as well, this skirt here. So together, they cost me $58.32. I really like the pattern. Me too, I like the colours and the pattern. This is the wedding dress. Uh, for someone else's wedding, not mine. I'm already married, aren't I, Daryl? Yeah. That was from Windsor, and that cost $63.79. I might try that on for you guys later. Alright. I got some t-shirts, Yeah. pre-warning could be slightly offensive. Yeah, if you're... Well, I might have to blow them. If you're a child or a snowflake, look away now. Yeah. Okay, so there's your warning. Some of them have got swear words on them. Fun fact. I don't care. I'm not shy. I just don't effing like you. Yeah. I heart big titty. titties. Goth girls. I love big titty goth girls. Don't like me. F off. Problem solved. Yeah, which is, they're all very you. Sporting the, the neck fans. See, me me too. Like, with it. People think I'm really, really cool, right? And I am, I am. But I just want to, like, lower the coolness because I don't want to be too cool in front of everyone else. You know, cool temperature wise, but not. Cool, yeah, she's cool. Like, yeah, just got to tone it down a little bit. So I don't want to stand out too much. I'm definitely not cool. Hotel lizard. Oh. Farewell. Do you know what? We've just met two couples of couples. <laughs> two couples of couples. Well, yeah. We've just met two couples. <laughs> of subscribers so one of them was Mark and Claire and then we also just met Brian and Kathy and we've had a lovely little chat with both of you guys thank you so much for coming and saying hi we actually really appreciate that um, yeah it's nice when people come up and say hello especially when Mark and Claire have got an apartment not far from where we actually live in Spain so if you guys ever come out to Spain come and find us at a concert so we just want to get in through the gates and then we can relax um, but yeah. security was pretty easy wasn't yeah. it? it was not too, too busy yet do you want to jinx it yeah. or nothing? It's, it's looking rainy though yes oh god yeah so this is our skyline at the minute dark in places but I think we'll touch wood, I think we'll be alright. Okay. Don't want to jinx it. <laughs> All the Scooby Doo crew are out. Scooby Doo, Scooby Doo. Oh, where are you? <laughs> Keep up! <laughs> we just refilled our cup for the first time. Cost us twelve seventy nine. So that's even got up one up, isn't it? Yeah. I think it was like eleven fifty something uh, or something last time, but it definitely wasn't twelve seventy nine. It's still a good deal though, because how many refills are you gonna try and get out of it? Yeah. We're a bit confused at the moment, at the moment, because we're coming to Stone Spring, it's like at four. Usually we start queuing at, I don't know, three, and no one's queuing, it's very chilled, unless there's somewhere else. Yeah. <laughs> sure, I know we're going to be queuing around there somewhere, Yeah. but we were one of the first in, and not many people have come past us, like, are we really early? It doesn't matter because we've got some shelter. Yeah. We've it, got some really comfy seats. Yeah, it There's is. A bar there. It is starting to rain. Yeah. It's spitting in there. It's not really rain. But like, I'm quite happy sat here. Oh, yeah. Halloween Horror Nights. <laughs> Just eating. 
Pretzels? Pretzels. Pretzels. Okay, so we've come to our queue line and there's not that many people ahead of us considering we've been sat down for a good hour yeah. on those lovely comfy chairs, honestly. They oh I'm gonna think about those chairs for a long time. <laughs> it's about ten past five now and it should open at five forty five. Yeah, hopefully it might open a bit earlier. Possibly. I do remember that usually on the first four nights. I don't really rate the houses. I'm usually the type of person that needs to do it a few times. Yeah, it takes takes a couple of runs through. You know, so. some people will like them from the first go, but for, for me, at least, I might come out being a bit, not underwhelmed, but um, as if I piped it up too much in my head and then it, I drop it. But then when I go back in again, I'm like, oh, this is amazing. All right, so we've been funneled around this way. Also, both queues go through here. So we've got Goblin's Feast and Eternal Bloodlines, both open at 5.45. So in a minute, I guess we've got to choose which way to go. So this is what it looks like. Oh, the um, facade of the Goblin's Feast looks good. We're going to go for Eternal Bloodlines. There's actually smoke coming out of the Goblin's Feast chimney. I don't know if you guys can see it. It's really cool. Yeah, it's a really cool little facade. Yeah. The other thing is, look at that damn sky. Yeah. So there is a lot of rain in the area. We might be able to get two or three houses done if we're lucky. Who got the most scared in that one, Scotty? Yeah, me. <laughs> I don't know what it is, but most like recently, like you're suffering with a lot of anxiety. And yeah, I, think that's I don't know. What it is. I'm really jumpy. He's so jumpy yeah. now. I got, a, I got a couple of good scares so. <laughs> though. He got them all. Yeah, it was a really good it's house really though. Fantastic house. So that was Goblin's Feast done, and you know what? I loved that more than yeah, the last one. It was so good. It was like a Viking esque yeah. um, ale house and with all human remains where they just chopped everybody up and been eating them. Yeah, the theming was so nice for Off the scale, like really big scale. Slaughter cinema, baby, 10 minute wait. Um, so we just bumped into the Roberts family and they were all lovely. So thank you so much for saying that. Hi, we really appreciate that. I think we've done pretty good, you know. We've done four houses. The last one, which was the museum one, did, didn't really <laughs> overwhelm me that much. The, the other three I thought were like fantastic. The yeah. museum one sort of we was like, nah. I think we need a probably need another it. run through. Yeah, I think so. I think it's right. Um, then we just had a quick beer, and now we're going to meet our friends from Out and Limb Family Vlogs. If you don't know them or you haven't subscribed yet, go and find them. And uh, yeah, we're going to hang out with me, Sarah, Amy, and Sam. Scotty is gonna try the zombie shark, which is, uh, we're gonna go for the single serve, 13.50. We don't need a souvenir cut. Zombie shark in the water wins. Oh, Yard house um, with Lee and Sarah, Amy and Sam. We did Horror Nights. Horror Nights was fantastic. The four nights, the four nights, the four houses that we did do were really, really, really good. Um, so we've walked here from Surfside and it's drizzles the whole time, but we're hungry and thirsty and we're gonna have a good night. I think it's karaoke, karaoke on over there. If it's not, then the singing is sacking. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> What the? What? Did you order that? Is that yours? Is that yours? <laughs> oh my god. But he's so shaky. Yeah. How are you going to pick that up? <laughs> oh my goodness. Chuck, 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 Chuck. 
Okay, well said. Apparently he asked for a large beer. And that was the biggest one. <laughs> oh, for goodness sake. So this is our bill from Yard House. So it's come to... Uh, where are we? 52, 13. Plus a tip. Right, I don't think we've got neighbours, but just in case we have, I'm trying to be respectful. So what a night we've had. We haven't really vlogged an awful lot, just because we've been with friends and been distracted. <laughs> then we all got the bus back to Surfside and walked up to International Drive to Yard House where we had the tacos again, Korean beef tacos. Uh, so we'll put a picture in here. And they were very nice. The parmesan, no, truffle fries we've never had before. Um, I thought they were okay. Like, then we just literally got in the door about a half an hour ago. Yeah, I'm not I'm going to sleep now. <laughs> I'm going to sleep now. <laughs> Alright, on that note, we'll see you guys in the next one. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you've enjoyed. And thank you to everybody who's come up and said hello. Yeah. We really like that. You guys just say, hey, we watch your vlog. I really appreciate it. Um, so thank you. We'll see you in the next one. Mm -hmm.